Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today's food we have is Moroccan style falafel mix, which I'm going to make and I'm going to present kind of like this basically. We're going to have it in some pita bread. And first things first, it says it only takes 15 minutes to make, and this is 10 minutes cooking and 5 minutes preparation. Let's start with the cooking, shall we? And basically, I need to preheat the oven, so that's going to take a while. 180 degrees. Add 150 milliliters of cold water, stir well, and leave to stand for five minutes until the mixture has thickened. Hmm. Interesting. So let's get that part done. A nice clear bowl so you can see what's going on. And 150 milliliters of water. That should be easy as well. I think the measuring jug is dirty at the moment, so I'm just going to measure water the other way by just putting 150 grams in here. Is 120, not 100, no, it's 150. That seems like quite a bit of water. Well, let's see how this works out then, shall we? I'm pretty sure this is going to go wrong somewhere. It's not like everything always goes wrong when I film it. I see what it meant by expanded in the water because there's way more water in there. And you're probably going to need. Hmm. One thing that's interesting. This is missing an ingredient I think I'd probably add. Especially if I'm going to oven bake them, I want them to have a tiny bit of oil inside of them. So the whole thing altogether is only weighing 270 grams. Which means this is going to make 10 balls. Not that much food so we're going to be having them with chips and with some other stuff as well one of the other things being a, a solid favorite mac and cheese kegs yum 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 by brew city these are fantastic and they deserve a whole video of their own but they're going to be a side part of this video they're macaroni cheese deep fried balls that you um deep fried little triangles that you uh Heat on the oven. That's starting to thicken up quite a bit. You heat up in the oven. So let's get the baking trays ready and get these ready to cook. So the mac and cheese cakes can go in this one. And just going to line with this. Um, these cakes have a terrible habit of popping. You ever seen that when you cook them? contents come out and go all over the inside of the uh... oh. now the idea of doing just one food each video kind of doesn't work either because I'm always cooking more than one thing for everyone so whereas that is part of what we're doing there's more to come let's put this over to the side let's widen the camera angle a little bit there we go, so you can see everything I'm doing. And I'm going to need to get another baking tray, which I had already ready here, which I used at lunchtime for some chips. So 
It's good to get some more chips on it now. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to, of course, have pita bread. I might do some steamed vegetables to go with. Nobody saw that. There's a few chips as well. These chips, classic McCain. Oven chips with sunflower oil. A bit boring, I know, but I don't really go for any of the other stuff. Not everybody wants flavoured chips. Oh wow, this is really starting to uh, really start to firm up. Getting close to the consistency we're looking for. Right, well this video is getting too long, so we'll be back when that's firmed up and I've turned them into balls. Okay, I've got everything ready. It's time to turn this goofy stuff into lovely falafel balls. Ten of them to be precise. About walnut shaped, I reckon. So I have to flour up my hands, put some flour on here, and then I guess I just make balls. Ooh, walnut shaped. Well, they need to be a bit smaller than that. That's like two. There we go. I guess you roll them in the flour so they stay together. One. Oh, I need to keep my hands floured, otherwise they're getting too sticky. Two. Oh. Oh. Three. Not sure how many of these we're going to end up getting. Maybe nine or something. This stuff is getting oh, all over my hands. It is sticking. I'm trying to keep. Oh, I've got to wash my hands in the middle. This is too much. I'm ending up with so much of it on my hands. I can't fly on my hands anymore. It's also staining my hands. It's obviously got a tiny bit of cumin or something in it. My hands are going greeny colored. Let's get a good amount of flour on my hands this time. Try and drop it down in the flour quickly. And this seems way too wet as well. Not sure how <clears throat> this is supposed to cook in 10 minutes. To be honest, it looks like it's going to be more than 20 in the oven. And 10 walnuts shaped sized ones, it's making way more than that. So again, with my assumption that the ingredients that it claimed, see that's 10. I'm still going to be able to make like another giant one by the look of it. There we go, and I've got enough left over to... Well, I'm not going to do anything with that. Right. So there we go, 11. Quite large ones. And I'll pop those in the oven. And we'll see what they look like when they come out. Okay, the mac and cheese cakes are ready. So, do you want to get a couple of plates? Yeah. Little plates. Get three little plates. And we'll divide these up between you, me and mummy. 
and they're ready and as you can see although I've tried to cook them as gently as possible and for them not to burst they always burst it's a bit like chicken Kiev's I think there's a way to cook them without them bursting but I've never discovered it so I'm going to take these up so let's divide them into three so put three on each plate to start we're going to see how many we got left because you don't like these very much do you you want two, yeah? Actually, three. You want three, and then me and mummy are... Sixteen. Right. Take five up to mummy, and I'll have three, and you can have three. Go on. Okay. Take those up to mummy. Because mummy really likes these, and you and me don't mind them. And that's what they're like. Let's try one and see what they taste like. They're actually pretty yummy. So, as you can see, the cheese bursts out of them, just like it does with most cheese-filled things, and... Mmm, 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 it's mozzarella with macaroni inside as well, pretty yummy. Mmm, nice as a starter, can be a little hot and can be quite messy, but they're, they are actually quite salty as well, I'll be honest with you, but I do like them. Mmm, so that's the Brew City mac mac and jack kegs oh i thought it was mac and cheese mac and jack oh well oh that might mean they're a little spicy now nah, well okay it's just come out the oven i've cut open the pit of breads and let's uh get these into the i think they're still a little bit warm but so uh makes you get three or he gets two in one pit of bread and one in another. And he's going to put some tomato ketchup in his. And um, wife gets three in one as well. She had way more of the other stuff than us. And we don't know what sauce she wants with hers yet. But I'm going to be having... I've got three pit of bread, so I'm going to kind of... Well... I'm going to make a chip, a pit of bread with just chips in because I like that kind of thing. And I cut my pit of bread really badly, as you can see. They have not turned out as well as they should. But I'm going to be putting my favorite spicy sauce on mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these quickly and then get everything else up. So here's what one of them looks like. You open it up and it looks steaming, fairly nice. Um, hmm. I mean... It tastes like falafel. It's just not great tasting falafel. Definitely worth a try. It's definitely cooked. I just think you should either deep fry these or shallow fry them, then put them in the oven. Mmm, nice. Okay, yummy. I'm going to get on and finish prepping all of this, and I'll show you a picture when it's done. And there, we're all done now. Looks like it's going to be fantastic. And here's the finished article. And I guess we can call this the one for the thumbnail. I've just got to put the sauce in it. But doesn't that look amazing? Chips in pitta and uh, falafel in pitta bread. Thanks for watching Bad Food Blog. And this episode has been dedicated to these uh, Graz Noz falafel mix, Moroccan style falafel mix, which is a tiny bit spicy, which uh, Max is going to have to deal with. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video.